Hey there, welcome back to Little Kodax. Today we are going to talk a little bit about the Kodak Instamatic 500 and I'm going to do a little bit of uh, cleaning of the uh, of the camera. I'll tell you a little bit about this camera. Um, it has a metal body, so it's not the uh, typical um, plastic bodied um, Instamatic 126 camera that you normally would see. Um, the film winder is actually on the bottom of the camera. This is the uh, shutter release here on the top. It, uh, it doesn't have a plastic lens. It uses a four element glass lens. Um, this one is a, a Schneider Cruzenot. Um, Xenar uh, F2838 millimeter lens. Um, that's here on the front. It uh, has a Comper um, leaf shutter for the, uh, the bottom of the lens here. Um, the viewfinder uses uh, uh, what they call bright frame, which looks like a little glowing frame inside uh, the viewfinder there with some uh, parallax uh, correction marks. It has a Gosen uh, selenium cell light meter um, and uh, it has a little exposure compensation down here in the um, bottom of the viewfinder. Um, I'll cut to a little clip there so you can see um, what that looks like when you're looking through the viewfinder. And here inside the viewfinder, you can see the ghost and light meter in action so right now you can see the needle is right there in the middle but as I adjust the aperture it will say I don't have enough I have too much so as that gets adjusted you can see the light meter moves for uh, your compensation your exposure compensation so you'll want to get it right there in the middle and then you'll be ready to take your shot and you can also kind of see the, the bright frame there inside the viewfinder there's a uh, PC socket here on the front for a uh, remote flash. Um, it also has a, a hot shoe here on top for a flash. So for instance, um, Kodak made this uh, flash holder um, hot shoe adapter and slides on top there. And now you can shoot with a uh, with a flash cube, so that's pretty neat. Um, I don't think there's another one of the Instamatic cameras that has um, this particular style hot shoe on it. Um, it also takes uh, 32 millimeter. Um, filter adapters and lens hoods so you can put uh, you know filters on the front here on this one this particular filter I believe it is it's a skylight filter I think this was used for if you were taking pictures of clouds it would make them stand out a little bit better I don't really need to do that but that was one of the features that it had. You could screw the, uh, the filters or a, uh, a lens hood onto these lenses. When I first got this camera, I had this button on the bottom and I could not figure out what it did. Well, these particular cameras, if you hold it down, the lens retracts down into the body. So it makes it a little bit thinner. Um, here I have another one. You can see the uh, 
a difference there with the lens. Um, retracted and the lens out. When you push the button, the lens will pop out. So that's pretty cool. And while the lens is retracted, you cannot push the shutter button. So it kind of locks that up. All right. Um, so those are the basic uh, things about the uh, Instamatic 500. It uses the 126 film cartridge. Pop it in the back. This winds. Um, and then you're ready to uh, to shoot your pictures once you're ready. The lens itself has three clickable settings down here in the bottom. One has the little person, which equates to uh, about four feet. And it clicks down into the two people. And that's uh, right between um, seven and ten feet and then uh, you have a landscape setting here and that is um, right around 20 feet and then it goes a little bit further to infinity and it can drop down just a little bit below 2.5 feet so you can get pretty close um, to your subjects with uh, with this particular camera so that uses this little arrow here to set um, your focus. The second thing it has is um, your uh, exposure. So it uh, the fastest is um, 1 500th of a second, 250, 125, 60, and then 130th of a second. It also has um, this B, which uh, I've heard some people call it bold mode, some people call it bulb mode. Um, basically what it does is when you set that, take the cartridge out. Um, when you uh, push the shutter button, you can keep that open for as long as you want. You can see uh, the uh, aperture there, it's five leaves. You can see me open and close that. And that's uh, using that um, B setting. Um, and then the last thing with the lens is the, uh, the f-stop. So you can go from 2.8 to 22. And when you adjust this, this is what actually moves that little needle um, inside the viewfinder. Um, for the light meter that's here on front. Um, it's pretty heavy, nice and sturdy camera. It doesn't feel cheap or doesn't creak or anything like that. It's made of uh, this bottom piece of metal here and then this top piece and those clamp together. So if you undid these screws, it kind of pops open on both sides. Um, and that's it. That's the uh, Kodak Instamatic 500. Um, all right, I'm going to do uh, a little bit of cleanup with this uh, using some alcohol. And um, then on one of my next videos, uh, I'm going to do uh, something special. All right, so let me just get a Q-tip. And I'll get some alcohol. And I'm just going to go over the outside of this camera and get it cleaned up because there is some dust and dirt down inside the, the crevices and the, the front panels and the, the sides and stuff of this guy. So I like to do this so that my cameras are all real nice for, um, for display. You can see this guy is just nasty as all. Well. All right, I'm going to do this um, pretty quickly for you. And then we'll move on to the next thing.
This right here is the serial number. Um, it's right in front of the hot shoe on these cameras. Okay, so I hit it with all the alcohol. I'm gonna wipe it off with paper towel. And then we have uh, this fake leather on the front, which did not like the alcohol at all. So what I'm gonna do is hit that with a little bit of this plastic uh, restoration um, cream. And that should bring some shine back to this. In the next video, I'm actually going to be replacing this stuff. So let's see what that did for us. Not too much, but you can see this is kind of dull, and then that kind of has a nice shine to it now. Alright, I'll hit the rest of it just to finish it up. Hit these uh, back pieces and then we'll be done. So you can see this piece, it's kind of beat up down here and up here. So it doesn't look that great. Um, but now that uh, we did that uh, plastic restoration on it, it does look a lot better than it did. 
Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is take a little bit of glass cleaner and we will hit um, our viewfinder, our little film window in the back here. We hit our viewfinder in the front and we will hit our little glass lines. All right, guys, there you have it. The Kodak Instamatic 500, all cleaned up and ready for display. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel. And until next time, have a great day.